Today we're going to be doing a full breakdown of this flying car effect. I'm gonna be uploading every single day for the entire month of May. So if you guys aren't subscribed already, make sure you go ahead and do that. My brand new Fast Movement Effects V3 pack is also available for pre-order right now. If you wanna go ahead and save $20, if you go ahead and pre-order it, you'll be given a sample pack and you will receive the full pack on May 13th. So we started off in After Effects with this drone footage I found on YouTube. I went ahead and then tracked the camera. While the camera was tracking, I went ahead on Sketchfab and looked up some vintage cars. I found a few I liked, but they were very pricey. So I looked for some free versions until I found this one right here. This one looks so fire, so I did go ahead and download it as an OBJ. Once the camera was done tracking, I went ahead and created a camera like so, and it popped up in the layers. After the scene was tracked, I went ahead and created a new solid, called it car, and then applied Element 3D onto the solid. Opening scene setup in Element 3D, you can see we have this full 3D layout here. I just went ahead and imported the car, and make sure you set it to bottom. Once we have the car in there, you can see it's really small, so we just hit normalize size, and boom. This 3D model has a bunch of different separate parts, so what you want to do is you want to open diffuse, open load texture, and you want to load each texture into the part that matches the name. This took a little bit of time, but it was honestly worth it because the car looks so high quality. Quality. If you play with the Z position, that will send it forwards into the space. Also playing with the rotation as well and keyframing it while it flies really adds some life to the effect there. So I played around with this for a few minutes until I got it to my liking. I think the best tip I can give you guys for this is just messing around with it and playing with your keyframes, making sure you're easy easy them and playing with the graph editors as well. Then I got to a certain point where I realized I want to have the car fly in behind that mountain right there. So what I went ahead and did is I rotoscoped out the mountain from the background on a completely different layer. This took a long time to rotoscope since the footage was 4K 90. 90 frames per second. Once it was done, we then went ahead and played it through and saw the car flew right in behind it, which looks so clean. I love the way that looked. I went ahead now and then applied drop shadow onto the car itself because we want to replicate the shadows that the scene has. After applying drop shadow, I just played around with the distance to get it to my liking and the opacity as well. Also playing around with the direction as well, just kind of matched the scene. And then going ahead and keyframing it when the car was closer to the mountain, we made it more blurry. And as it flew further off, we made it less blurry to really match what it would look like in real life. And I also played with the motion blur and the camera blur on the car. I then went ahead and applied a LUT from my ultimate LUT pack on it and threw Dehancer on there as well to color it. After I was done doing that, I threw on some sapphire lens flares just to really give the video more texture and depth. Once that was done rendering through, it needed some sound design. So I went over to Epidemic Sound, found some nature effects, found some car effects, found some wind effects and threw them all in there and organized it. I recommend when you guys are doing sound design, you really play with the volumes of certain things and mess around with it until you get it to your liking. Really take your time with the sound design for stuff like this because it really just brings the video to life. But that wasn't good enough for me. I had an epiphany and I was like, wait, we can add clouds to this and motion track it. So I went ahead and did that, brought some clouds into After Effects, turned them on screen and then motion track them, playing with the opacity, playing with the blur. And after that, we had a really cool outcome just like this. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos just like this make sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up as i'm going to be uploading every single day for the rest of the month and also go check out the fast movement effects v3 as well trust me that pack is crazy you can save 20 dollars right now and get the best editing pack you've ever had see you guys in the next one peace